Hello everyone and welcome back. In this episode, we are going to be looking at what is the Voyager 1 spacecraft. So let's begin. Voyager 1 is a space probe launched by NASA on September 5th, 1977. It is currently part of the Voyager program, which includes the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 currently, to study the outer solar system and the interstellar space beyond the sun's heliosphere. It was launched 16 days after its twin, Voyager 2. It communicates through the NASA Deep Space Network, also known as DSN. This is done to receive commands and to transmit data to Earth. Real-time distance and velocity data are provide, provided by NASA and JPL at a distance of 165.2 astronomical units also known as 24.7 billion kilometers from Earth as of October 2024. It is the most distant human-made object from Earth. The probe made flybys of Jupiter, Saturn, and Saturn, uh, Saturn's largest moon, Titan. NASA had a choice of either doing a Pluto or Titan flyby. Exploration of the moon took priority because it was known to have a substantial ob- atmosphere. Voyager 1 had studied the weather, magnetic fields, and rings artists' rendering of the Voyager spacecraft design of the two gas giants and was the first probe to provide detailed images of mission-type outer planetary heliosphere and their moons. As a part of the Voyager program, and like its sister craft operator, NASA slash Jet Propulsion Laboratory Voyager 2, the spacecraft's extended mission is to locate and study the regions of COSPA ID 1977-084A boundaries of the outer heliosphere and to begin exploring the interstellar SATCAT number 10321 medium. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause and entered interstellar space on August 25, 2012 making the first spacecraft to do so. Two years later, Voyager 1 began experiencing a third wave of coronal mass eject- in- ejections from the Sun that continued to do at least December 15, 2014. Further, mission 47 years later, years, one month and 24 days duration elapsed. In 2017, the Voyager team successfully fired the spacecraft's trajectory planetary mission, three years correction maneuver, thrusters for the first time since 1980, enabling three months nine, and nine days the mission to be extended by two to three years. Voyager's once extended interstellar mission, 43 years mission, is expected to continue to return scientific data until at least 2025. 10 months and 15 days elapsed. It currently has a maximum lifespan of until 2030, and it has radioisotope thermoelectric generators, which may supply enough electricity to pro- power the return engineering spacecraft properties data until 2036. Let's continue with talking about the history. A 1960s proposal for a grand tour to study the outer planets led NASA to study to start of mission begin work on a mission during the early 1970s. Information gathered by launch date September 5, 1977, at 1256 and 1 second UTC, the Pioneer 10 spacecraft helped engineers design Voyager to better cope rocket Titan IIIE. Initially, Voyager 1 was planned as Marino 11 of the Marino program due to budget cuts. The mission was reduced to flyby of Jupiter and Saturn and renamed the Marino Jupiter Saturn probes. The name was changed to closest March 5, 1979. Voyager, when the probe designs began to differ substantially from Marino approach missions. Let's talk about the spacecraft components and other things. Voyager 1 was built by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, also known as JPL. It has 16 distance 124,000 km hydrazine thrusters, 
three axis stabilization gyroscopes and referencing the flyby of Titan. There are lots of instruments to keep the probe's radio antenna pointed towards Earth. Collectively, these instruments are part of the Altitude and Articulation Approach Control System, also known as AACS, along with redundant units of most instruments. It also has eight backup thrusters. The spacecraft also included 11 scientific distance, 6,490 kilometer instruments to study celestial objects such as planets as it travels through large strategic science missions. Before we continue, if you've already made it up to here, please like and subscribe this video, share it to your friends and check out my website. Let's go back to this video. Unlike Voyager's other instruments, the operation of the cameras for visible light is not autonomous, but is controlled by an imaging parameter table contained in one of the digital computers, the Flight Data Subsystem, since the 1990s. Most space probes have been equipped with completely autonomous cameras. Controls the cameras. The CCS contains fixed computer programs such as command decoding, fault detection, and fault correction routines, antenna pointing routines, and spacecraft sequencing routines. This computer is an improved version of the one that was used in the 1970s Viking orbiters. Let's briefly take a look at like a timeline. 1977. Nine five. Spacecraft launched at twelve fifty six zero zero UTC. Nineteen seventy seven twelve ten. Entered asteroid belt. Nineteen seventy seven twelve nineteen. Voyager one overtakes Voyager two. Nineteen seventy eight nine eight. Exited asteroid belt. Nineteen seventy nine one six. Start Jupiter observation phase. 1979-35, encounter with the Joyin system, and so on. This timeline can go on for almost forever because there's so many things this amazing spacecraft has done. If you want to know about Voyager 2 or more about Voyager 1, please like, subscribe, share, and comment your opinion on all of this. Check out my website in the top pinned comment. See ya!